Dirk Johnson was born and raised and schooled in Los Angeles, California. He got his MBA from UCLA. And then he went and he was working in Boston for a big corporation for about eight years. One summer, he has some time to take off. He just broke up with his, his girlfriend. And he decides, well, he's familiar with Boston. He's never really gotten out into the, what you might call the countryside, rural New England. So he decides he's going to, you know, drive around rural New England, stay at some bed and breakfasts, and see what it's like outside of the, the city. So off he goes. And one day he's driving around, beautiful countryside. But he's got a way to go until he gets to the bed and breakfast where he has his, uh, where he's going to stay. And the gas in the car is getting a little low. So he needs to gas up. And he's a little thirsty. And, you know, he kind of needs to use the restroom. So as he's driving along, he sees one of these gas station convenience stores, combinate combos, you know, along the road. So he pulls in there, stops the car, pumps the gas, decides he's going to go in and use the restroom, which he does. He comes out, grabs a bottle of water, goes up to the counter. Now, behind the counter is this old guy who looks like your stereotypical New England old guy. And he, when he had come in, Dirk had come in, the guy had greeted him, said hello, but, you know, a very strong New England kind of accent, which I can't mimic and I won't attempt to do it. So you just have to imagine that this old man has this strong New England accent. Anyway, Dirk comes up to the counter, puts down his bottle of water, takes out a $5 bill. His BMW is all gassed up. Paid at the pump. The old guy says to him, will that be it? And he thinks for a second, he doesn't want anything else, but he says, ah, yeah, there is something you can help me with. The guy says, sure. He said, where can I get scrod? And the guy behind the counter, the old New England guy, does a really big double take. If he had had water in his mouth, it probably would have been a spit take. But he's, he's obviously shaken by this. And, and Dirk notices this response. And he says to the old guy, yeah, I guess you don't get a lot of us city slickers coming in here asking about getting scrod. Thinking that, you know, the guy think doesn't, he thinks these slickers, city slickers from Boston don't know what scrod is. But the old man says, no, that ain't the problem. So Dirk looks at him and says, well, why the strange response? He said, well, I've lived here for over 70 years. And he said, I've had people from the city come around here, drive through here, stop here, and ask me more times then I could count that same question. And Dirk says, well, what's the problem? Why the reaction? He says, well, all those decades, all those individuals, nobody's ever asked me that question using the past pluperfect subjunctive. <laughs>